Hi and welcome to the tutorial video for operating point analysis. In this video we will demonstrate how current directions relate to the netlist. Uh, so you'll see here we have a basic circuit set up and it's a thousand ohm resistor with a five volt power supply or a one kilo ohm resistor. Um, for ease of our discussion on the netlist we have labeled node one which is right here on this junction and ground A and ground B which is a purely arbitrary distinction. So we'll start off by running our operating point analysis. Just click run up here and I've already set it up and it will give us some basic information about the directions of the current. Uh, namely, you'll notice that the current in R1, which is the current through this component, is in the negative direction, and the current through V1, which is the source, is in the negative direction. So they're in the same direction. Uh, we'll continue along and pull up the SPICE netlist here, which is under View, SPICE netlist. Um, and this will help shed some light on uh, the current directions and how we can interpret this. So you look at V1, and it says from N1, which is node 1, which we have labeled here, to ground, which is 0, is a source value of 5 volts. So from N1 to ground A is 5 volts. And R1 has a value of from ground to node 1 is 1,000. Um, and that's ground B to node 1. Now the reason we know this is ground B as opposed to ground 1 is if we had said it was from 0 ground A to node 1, there is actually no component, there's no resistor from ground A to node 1, so it must be, by deduction, uh, ground B to node 1. And something that's significant to note here is that from node 1 to ground A is 5 volts, and from ground B to node 1 is 1000. And you'll notice that if you imagine a, a, a line connecting these two here, like an additional wire, that, that it's actually a circuit, and they're going in the same, same direction. So that agrees with what our operating point analysis has just told us. So now we'll see what happens when we reverse the direction of the resistor. So you pick up the resistor with the hand here, and you use control R to reverse the component, and drop it back in. And we'll run our operating point, and we're expecting to see that the resistor now has current in the positive direction, and the source should still be a negative as it was before. So we run our operating point, and we'll see, yes, it is positive in the resistor value, R1, and negative still in the source, because we haven't changed that direction. So this should be reflected in the netlist. We'll pull it up again as view spice netlist, and we'll see that V1 is from node 1 to ground 5 volts. So that's the same as before. But now it's node 1 to 0 is 1,000. So node 1 to ground B has a value of 1,000. Now what's significant about this is node 1 to A is in one direction and node 1 to B is in the opposite direction. If you imagine this, this wire that's connecting here again, it's for the resistor value it's going through here, which is node 1 to B. And for the source, it's going node 1 to A. So these are actually the opposite direction, and that's exactly what we had expected.